So I sped right through the sketching part because I think that wasn't particularly interesting. It's just a basic sketch of the one of the photographs that I took. I started out with the dark areas because I was pretty timid about this. I really, really liked the photograph that I took and cropped and the composition and I was just worried that my painting wouldn't be able to live up to the to the photo. So then I started painting each flower petal in a different shade of blue, just just kinda going crazy, not really worrying about it. I wasn't really expecting this one to turn into much of anything. I didn't really know what I was doing. I tried a lot of different things, painted over each time. I, yeah, right here. I really didn't like that, but I wasn't going to worry about it. So just, you know, cover it up a little bit, leave it alone, go work on a different part, come back to it. It'll be fine. Gouache is really forgiving, actually, because you can paint over it, but still get some kind of nice, it's opaque enough to cover things up, but you can also use it as kind of a watercolor, you get a lot of nice layers. I finally found in that white area in the middle there, the kind of texture that I wanted for this, and that's when I started to feel better about it. I think it's in this petal right here, this is the petal where I really started thinking this painting might actually turn out okay, be something that I can like. That purple right there. Yeah, the purple bits on that left petal. Every time I glance back over there, I start to think maybe this painting's gonna work out. But I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna force it, so I worked on some other bits. Came back to it. And then I thought, okay, the next thing is I have to fix this weird red purple spot up here. Before, so I can really know if it's gonna be worth my time. Uh, it's kind of working out, so I'll work on something else. Another petal that just felt like a problem to me because of the pink area, but you know, I'm not gonna stress about it. Keep going. I got some really nice gradients right up here at the top, but they were too smooth, so I skipped over to something else. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to continue that smoothness, so I. Of course, I changed my style again, started kind of making these gossamer, I don't know, just really light butterfly wing kind of effects. Right here I got really upset because these four petals seem to be all different tones. Like my art brain was telling me that was fine, but my analytic brain was telling me no, it's not going to work. But I just had to shut that voice out and keep going. That top left petal on this flower started to look kind of muddy, but you know, keep going. So these brushes are pretty good. Um, I got them on Amazon, and I think it's a, a synthetic Neo Sable. Um, I don't think that they get quite as fine a tip as the natural fiber brushes that I was using before, but all the little, little hairs aren't falling out of them, so that's a plus. So 
here, started focusing in on the lights and darks again to get more contrast and see, see where the other colors were going to come through later. And suddenly, the whole painting starts to look like flowers to me and not just splotches. I started feeling really good here. finally decided that I'm going to finish this one and not just keep screwing around. Yeah, so it took me almost this long before I decided I wasn't just playing around in my sketchbook and this might be a a painting worth being proud of. Still worrying about what I'm going to do about those pinks, but I finally realized they kind of need to stay there. I guess I'm finding I'm getting more peaceful when I paint. Like I still have times where I worry about the strokes that I've just made and areas that I think I've just messed up, but with this paint, this acrylic gouache, I'm starting to feel safer about making mistakes and being able to come back and fix them. <laughs> 